Well, hello YouTube. Um, I'm back. I'm showing you today. Uh, this is Timberlawn Hospital, what remains of Timberlawn Mental Health Hospital. This building is over 100 years old. It's been a continuous mental health hospital since the uh, probably around early 1900s, the 19 teens. Um, it closed down about a year ago. This is actually uh, was used as an administration building, but long, long ago, 100 years ago, it was the main mental health hospital. And unfortunately, it was uh, run by people outside the state and mismanaged terribly. And so now it's sitting abandoned. It's been abandoned for about a year, and it's really, really here the ground. You can see it's all grown up in weeds. It's completely just deteriorated. And um, we've been trying to get the Dallas Historical Society to, um, we, they did put the building on the endangered list, but uh, there's been no plans to uh, do anything with it. A developer was going to buy this land, look at these beautiful trees over here, and put um, basically a housing development on it. But apparently in the 20s, there was an old gas station here and uh, pumps are buried and I think the land is considered contaminated and they couldn't do it, so the deal fell through. So now, uh, really no one knows what's gonna become of this place, but it would be um, such a shame to see this building demolished. Like I said, it's over 100 years old. It's um, a Greek Revival style mansion, but it was never anyone's house. It was always used as a mental hospital, originally for patients, and then um, administration used it in its latter years. Uh, I think it's just an amazing house. If you get up closer, you can see the uh, Greek Revival, like I said, it was Greek Revival with Corinthian columns. The, uh, let's see, yeah, the sun's in my eyes. Those are the columns up there with the scrolls. That means they're Corinthian. And we'll see if we can maybe go look in the windows a little bit. I know it's all locked up. I'm sure it would take a lot to um, rehabilitate this building. I'm sure there's lead paint and asbestos and God knows what else, but it's a shame. So here's just uh, looking into the inside. Let's see what we can see from the front door. But, uh, some really bad things happened here in, in its last years. Um, a patient killed a doctor and there were numerous patient assaults and suicides, so it was just horribly mismanaged, but it used to be considered the premier hospital of Dallas and it was a private hospital and it cost thousands of dollars a week to stay here and this was back in the old days when you know money was money and um, it was just considered a very nice place very serene you can see all the trees there's pathways and walkways out to the main buildings and it's all been all overgrown Look at that beautiful tree, just gorgeous. Look at that, an old surgical mask. 